Hello Wolfpack, I'm Drew Day here in the NCSU Weather Center. We'll start your forecast off with the class by class forecast. Temperatures will be in the lower 40s to start the day on Friday around 9 a.m. with just some lingering cloud cover from that cold front and area of low pressure that brought us all of the rain today. But as we head into the noon hour, we'll start to see those clouds begin to move on out with plenty of sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 40s at that point will be right around 46 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon before we peak out right around 48 degrees tomorrow later in the afternoon, perhaps around 4 or 5 o'clock. Now, as we take a look at the visible satellite, you can see we have plenty of cloud cover over the area today, and that was all because we had a stalled frontal system moving along as well as an area of low pressure riding along that front. And you can see this plume of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico across Florida and into North Carolina. Now, this is a computer model simulation of what we expect the radar may look like for the rest of the evening. And notice here that Raleigh is right on the edge of this rain. So for the rest of the evening, we expect it to be some off and on showers rather than steady rain. The steadier rain will be east of I-95 and along the coastal plain, but you will need to take an umbrella or a rain jacket with you as you head out this evening because we do expect that the chance of rain is good enough that you'll see some showers, even though it will be off and on. And so as we head throughout the period, the rain will continue, but we'll be right on the edge of it. Now, as we head into the early morning hours, you can see this area of rain begins to break up a bit on the computer model. So we expect our chance of rain will go down, but they'll still be high enough. And then notice that we'll have this area of precipitation form back off to our west. This is in association with some of the wraparound moisture with that area of low pressure. And so as that area of low pressure begins to pull away, we'll have some cold air begin to move in and if the timing is just right where we have the cold air moving in and the moisture still lingering around we may see some snow flurries begin to fall perhaps around 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning but this would not be an impactful snowfall this would be something that's just nice to look at because our temperatures the past couple of days have been just way too warm our soil temperatures are warm and so it may accumulate on some of the grassy surfaces but the roads will be just fine so again this would be something that's just noteworthy if you're up early enough tomorrow morning and then Finally, the rain begins to move out and will dry out for the day on Friday. So overnight tonight, temperatures will drop into the mid-30s this evening with those showers continuing off and on. We'll have a northwesterly wind around 8 to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow morning, expect temperatures to start off in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And then later in the afternoon, we'll reach 48 degrees here in Raleigh with that northerly wind continuing. Again, more sunshine in the afternoon. So then we may make up, wake up to some cloud cover, but then we expect there to be more sunshine later in the afternoon. And then as we take a look at the five-day forecast now, it's 50 for the day on Saturday and Sunday, and then it looks like we'll start next week in the upper 40s. Have a great weekend, everyone.